Another day, another celebrity using their power and influence to act like a cult leader and abuse and manipulate and harm everyone around them. Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy and they settled just about 24 hours later, which on the one hand is good because that means Cassie, the victim, got what she wanted out of the situation and feels like some justice is being served in a way where she has control of the outcome. And obviously when you go to court, when you go to a trial, you don't necessarily have control over what happens and what the actual outcome will be based on what you're asking for. I think this also shows a lot about Diddy not wanting things to come out. I do really wish that more could be done to hold him accountable for the very criminal acts that were alleged in that lawsuit. And Diddy has been rumored to be a very violent person for a very long time now. And people like this that are coercive and use undue influence and unbalanced power dynamics to manipulate and get what they want and exert control over people like a cult leader don't this isn't an isolated incident they don't do this just one time or to just one person so i'm i'm sure there are other victims and other stories to be told and in fact aubrey o'day shared a statement with entertainment tonight in support of cassie and the lawsuit and she talks about how she it's she's in full support it's not easy to take on one of the most power, powerful people in the industry and she said may her voice bring all others to the table so we can start having more transparent conversations about this and then at the end she also said there's a lot more to all of our stories there is more to be said here more to be told if the victims and survivors want to tell it if they want to share it and i think that it's important that we see people of influence for who they are and not allow them to get away with these awful acts that they only get away with due to acting like a cult leader. I do think it's really interesting that Cassie filed this lawsuit under New York's Adult Survivors Act, which is set to expire like next week, but it allowed a one year look back window into uh, cases of adults that were abused when they were younger and um, whose statute of limitations has expired. And it allowed them to bring up a civil case against their accused abusers. This act was really important and is really important because our laws have not caught up yet with our understanding of coercive control and undue influence. And a lot of times we know from any um, domestic abuse survivors and any people who grew up in cults or were cult members or were harmed as children, you don't always understand what happened to you until much, much later, much later into your adulthood, much later into your healing process. Before you, before you even understand that what happened to you was wrong and or potentially illegal. I wish Cassie could have shared more of her story and I wish we could have seen more about the horrible things that Diddy was accused of. But again, the most important thing is that Cassie, as the victim in this situation, got what she needed out of it. I can understand her wanting some control over the outcome. And if Diddy was being amicable about giving her that control, then good for her. But this man deserves to be fully exposed from what we have seen from her accusations. Well, this is super freaking culty. I'm learning all kinds of things about Diddy that I was not aware of. Allegedly, back in like September, Aubrey O'Day said that Diddy, when he was deciding to reassign music rights to a lot of the artists that he signed, which apparently Diddy's also like known for giving terrible um, deals and like music deals to his performers. And I guess he was reallocating their rights or giving a lot of these people their rights back so they could make money off of streaming that they didn't get before it's this whole thing you can read about it it talks a little bit about it in this article um but attached to returning those rights back to these artists were ndas to never disparage diddy or the label ever in the future this is something that happens in cults and cult-like organizations and with terrible leaders all the time where they force victims and survivors to sign NDAs to make them feel like they can never 
talk about certain things that they've experienced in that organization or with that person. I know for a fact a lot of mega churches do this. Um, Scientology didn't use NDAs, but they do have, um, you know, billion year Sea Org contracts that they have people sign that they make Scientologists feel like are similar to NDAs that are legal contracts that can't be broken, even though they probably aren't. I've seen coaches do this in the coaching industry. I've seen spiritual leaders do this, basically just preventing people from sharing their experiences with anyone else. This is also a really huge issue in Hollywood where a lot of executives and a lot of companies like Nickelodeon wrap up victims of one form of abuse or another in NDAs and settle for some amount so they can never talk about things again. It's really a form of coercive control and undue influence that makes victims um, and cult members feel like they're doing something wrong for speaking out about their experiences that they've had. When Diddy has been asked why now, like why he's deciding to give rights back to his artists now, he always says things like, I want to be part of the change in the industry and we've learned things now that we didn't know before and I just think it's the right thing to do. But my thing is like, it would be the right thing to do if you didn't attach that to something else like signing an NDA. If it's just the right thing to do and you think there should be changes in the industry and you want to be a positive part of that change, just give people their rights back. Don't make them sign NDAs. I think the fact that he always seems to avoid getting canceled is like another really culty thing about Diddy. I feel like the response we're seeing to Cassie's lawsuit and even like them settling like about 24 hours after it was filed is that a lot of people kind of like knew Diddy was like this. Like this seems to be like an open secret in the industry. A lot more people have come forward and shared horrible, scary experiences with Diddy. And I've seen a lot of people wondering like, how could this keep happening? How does this keep going on? Why does he still have so much power and influence and control if it's like known that he's a predator? And I know there are a lot of reasons for that societally and the way the entertainment and music industries are set up and the way we interact with men like this in the media, but it's also because he employs tactics of undue influence and coercive control and he knows how to get the right people under his grip or under his spell. He deploys these tactics slowly over time and he's done it enough that he's able to maintain a level of power and control without it affecting his ability to be seen. The greatest power people have against people like this is their truth and their experiences. And he also does a really great job at silencing those. But the more of those that come out, the more we all talk about this, the less power people like Diddy hold. And I'm wondering how much longer it's going to be before he's held accountable for the honestly, allegedly things that he's allegedly done, but like honestly disgusting, despicable, horrible things that he has been accused of credibly over and over and over and over again. What will tip the scales to where he gets held accountable? Oh my gosh, shocked, flabbergasted. Who could have guessed? Who could have seen this coming? A second and third woman have accused Diddy of SA. Lawsuits were filed just before the end of the New York Adult Survivors Act, which allows people to file civil suits against cases that are past the statute of limitations. I figured we would see this because allegedly the number of women that this man has harmed is very high. And I think Cassie's lawsuit that she filed empowered a couple other people to come forward. These accusations follow a similar pattern of what he has been accused of before and the lawsuit that Cassie filed. I find it really sad because when you have this many people coming forward, you have to think about how many have been harmed over the years that haven't come forward because we know most women don't, especially when facing someone with so much power and influence and 
someone so high up in their industry, especially someone who employs cult-like tactics of undue influence and coercive control over time. It's just like these people are the most dangerous people. I said it before and I'll say it again. This man is a predator and I really hope that he is held accountable and I really hope this is the end of his unmitigated power and control.